This lesson is in placing an image and tracing it in Illustrator. You go to File, then scroll down to Place. Then we're going to choose the image we want to put in our document, and then click the Place button. Now we're going to go to Object, Lock. This locks it in place, Lock Selection. Now it cannot be selected, and it won't move. This will help with your tracing. Now we're going to go over to the side tool palette and go to Layers. Click on the Layers. We're going to click on the Page icon to get a new layer. We'll name the first layer Shoes, and then the next layer Logos. Just makes it easier to work this way when you label. I'm going to use the Brush tool to get a more calligraphic look to the bottoms of the shoes. So I'm clicking on the Brushes window, pulling up the finer, more calligraphic brush on the far right. I click and drag, create my shape, then I create the next shape I want. Now I've got my lines. I'm going to use this magnifying glass to zoom in, and then the white arrow tool to change my path. You can lock your layer, as well as click with the eye icon to hide it. Always make sure when you save your file to hide the traced layer, or else it'll be in your final logo. So as I showed in class, you can move the points and the beziated curves using the white arrow tool. This is how you adjust your shape to get it to the way you like it. Work at a good magnified size so that you can get a smooth logo. You can click and drag to select more than one point at a time. Now that's using strokes in the logo. Again, remember to hide your image when you're saving it. Now I'm going to use the pen tool. I click and make my points. Now this part's important. Click and drag to start making your curve. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and a little triangle will appear near the pen tool. That creates an anchor point. I click again. I'm holding down the Alt key again and clicking on the last path before making my next curve. This helps you get a faster freeform by adding those extra anchors. Uh, that was holding down the Alt key until you get the little triangle and clicking on the last paint, the last point you made on your path. And again, you could use your black arrow tool to select the object. And here I'm going to change that stroke to a fill just by switching that key just to show you, you can do solid shapes or you can do lines when creating your logos. To change the stroke width, you could use the Stroke tool up at the top, or go Window, Stroke, to pull up more options. This is just changing the stroke width using the Stroke tool and the Stroke Path window. This lesson is an advanced pen tool use to help create your logos more easily. I'm going to explain this in a little bit further detail. I'm going to click and drag to create my Beziated Curve. I'm going to click and drag one more time. Now, what I showed in the last video was holding down the Alt key at this point to create an anchor. You see a little triangle next to the pen tool. Now I've stopped that path, so the next time I click and drag, if I did not do that, this is what would have happened. I'm going to click and drag over here. I'm going to click and drag again. The curve keeps continuing as I'm clicking. This is useful for if you have to do a curve. I'll make another curve. I'm going to hit the Alt key, get the little triangle right there, then create a straight line. I'm going to use the Alt key one more time. Get my anchor click and drag over here. This is useful for, for creating corners and going from a corner into a curve which you'll encounter with some of the shapes you're going to want to make. Also, I'm going to demonstrate a more technical drawing. I'm going to use a circle and a rectangle. My 
white arrow tool. I'm going to want to make the top half of the circle connect with that straight line. So I'm going to delete that path with the white arrow tool and delete that path. I'm going to delete this one point. So now I've got a semicircle and this line. I'm going to zoom in with my magnifying tool. If I want to see this more precisely, I go View, Outline. Now I see these points are meeting up very nicely. I'm going to click with the white arrow, select both of them. Go Object, Path, Join, and Average. I'm going to do Average for this. Just going to average both the horizontal and the vertical in case they're off by a little bit. I'm going to go back to View, Preview. And you can see they're off by a little bit, so I'm going to undo. Looks like the one point. Move it over a little bit. No. Select them both of them. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, select them both. Object, path. Let's try join this time. Now we've got the shape we want. That's the difference between join and average. That's just one more way of getting a more technical, precise measurement and lining up your shapes.